In this video, I'll show you how to use various types of GeoPoint maps inside a dashboard. I've already connected the designer to a data source containing energy statistics for European countries. To add a map, click the GeoPoint map button in the ribbon, and you'll see we have an empty world map. We have a set of default maps that you can choose, or you can provide your own shapefiles using the load and import maps. I'll use a map of Europe. To visualize data on the map, you'll need to provide geographical coordinates. So let's drag and drop the latitude and longitude fields first. Then, drop the production field to the value placeholder. The GeoPoint map displays energy production for each country using callouts on the map. Zoom the map and hover over a callout to see additional data in a tooltip. You can add info to the tooltips in the Tooltips Data Items area. Drag the country field to the dimensions to see the name of the country in the tooltip. Drag Import to Measures to display the energy import for each country. You can rename maps using Edit Names. Let's look at the navigation and layout settings. The Show Caption button allows you to show or hide the map's caption. Edit Names allows you to change the name of a dashboard item or specific maps. Use Open to select a default map or load a custom map from an existing shapefile. Lock Navigation disables zooming and scrolling. And Full Extent allows you to display the entire map. You can also edit shape titles. Just select an attribute from the drop down list, or you can also use the preview window. Click here to use filters. Set some filter criteria and click OK. The map will display callouts only for those countries whose names meet the criteria. If you want to filter the map by unseen dimension values, drop it onto the Hidden Data Items and add the required condition to the filter criteria. And click Clear to reset filtering. Let's make this map a little more interactive. Add a chart to display the variation of energy production over time. Drag Production to Values, Year to Arguments, and Energy Type to Series. Select the map, go to the Data tab, and enable Multiple Master Filter. Select Callouts, and you'll see the chart filter accordingly. Click Clear Master Filter to reset filtering. You can also select multiple callouts using the Shift key. Let's check out the map's clustering capability. If a GeoPoint map has a large number of objects, it makes showing one difficult. You can group callouts into bubbles with Enable Clustering. You'll see here that the map clustered selected callouts into a single bubble for four countries. Let's look at a second type of GeoPoint map, a bubble map. I'll convert this map to a bubble map. It'll display an energy production for each country using different sized bubbles. Drag and drop the import field to the color placeholder to see energy import for each country using different colors. You can now remove the import data item from the tooltip data items because the map already displays it within the tooltips. If you want, you can customize the color palette. Just click the Options button next to the color placeholder and select a color using the options available. Bubble maps also support master filtering and clustering. Go to Design, 
you'll see the bubble map has the same options as the geo point map. But now you can display a colored legend so end users can identify specific values. With weighted legends, the bubble size depends on the value. The final map we'll look at is a pie map. Each pie will show the contribution of energy production and import to the total. Let's make it easier to read by changing the orientation of the color legend to vertical. The pie map provides the argument section which allows you to provide data for pie arguments. Drag and drop the energy type field to argument. The pie map shows the contribution of each energy type to the total values. The tooltip will display values for each country. You can use the Values button and the Map Caption to switch between Production and Import. You can also use Master Filtering with Pi Maps. Now just select Pies to see their data on the chart. Use the Weighted Pies button to adjust the pie size according to their values. And you can also use the clustering feature to group pies. And that's it for this video. To learn more about dashboards, check out our documentation online. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.